web. A web of, of lies. lies. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, <laughs> welcome to Desk Pop. Story time, story time, we're all here. Story time, it is also Desk Pop, and that's Brian, and I'm Andy. Welcome to Desk Pop. Hey, it's a story time time to share it's time to share it's time to open up just let us in time to open up <laughs> knock knock <sighs> opportunity right God, over here i had the lights off i thought you couldn't tell i was stuff. home i don't like any of this i want to cut all this out i don't like no, i think your, your song was weird. great i liked it cool i was trying to not make it super long i almost had it like i almost wrote out a song to like start the thing are you kidding i'm not kidding i was like i i came up with like a couple lines and i was like what well, are the lines maybe andy wouldn't like that i don't remember it was yesterday. oh you're you're a fucking liar no i'm not no and, I don't and when you, you just started singing i was like there's no fucking way like oh, i liked it yours was good though i was like mine was like uh it's desk pop story time uh not listening would be a crime something like it was like a, a few lines like that Ew. and so yeah i was like well i won't do that here's what's nice though we'll just use that forever story time it's story time <laughs> yeah okay. yeah yeah, All right, the, calm down, James Charles. It's the jazz drum start and big band starts all right I'm sorry. I was like, oh, I didn't annoy you with that. So I have to yeah, keep going. Yeah, you got to keep going. And, and, yeah. 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 I, I, I hit, I, I hit gold. It. You got it. Yeah. I hit the buried treasure. So what story did you prepare for us today, Andy? Don't you do that to me. Um, we have both agreed that no, we you're going first. <laughs> no, you said I was going first. Yeah. I, it's about even about, better. I didn't give you a choice. About 20 seconds before this. And uh, yeah. I did not agree to that. You, yeah you were texting me like oh i got a good story i did come up with one yeah yeah i have my story but you're obviously more giddy to share yours so uh, i'm not look the first rule of improv is uh, you can't say no uh, don't make me uh whenever you're ready <laughs> <laughs> the floor is yours uh imagine um, yourself it's 1990 okay. Eight. I thought you were going to be like, it's, <laughs> it's 1933, <laughs> the height of the war. Young Brian Sullivan <laughs> you reporting for duty. You didn't know I, I fell into a glacier and got cry cryogenically frozen. Uh, <laughs> so picture yourself. Your parents are divorced. I'm sure that's easy for you to picture. <laughs> fucking wreck damn um too soon you're going to dinner with your dad it's wednesday night it's the night he always takes you to dinner okay wednesday wednesday night that's the night you and your little brother go to dinner with your dad probably mcdonald's or something i don't know sure, wherever kids want to go mcdonald's is never bad ever you end up in a walmart okay is Walking. the Walmart attached to the McDonald's? No. <laughs> okay. I I, you know think. what? I'm sure if you leave a detail out, it's it's for the sake of the story. So I'm not I'm gonna not ask a bunch too many questions. Yeah, just go ahead. Whenever you feel like you need some clarification. I just want to make sure know. that I I have all the pieces yeah. here. So if it's a mystery, I can I can piece I, it together. <laughs> well, let me tell you, this story is a mystery. Oh, okay. So I slap my detective cap on. Put it on, Nancy Drew. Oh. Uh you're in the aisle. Of the video game section at Walmart. Okay. What year is this? 1998. Oh, okay. So this is something catches your Nintendo. eye. Okay. What is that blue box? It's a Game Boy. <sighs> 64. That's the game that I've wanted. Pokemon Blue version. Oh, nice. Dad, will you please buy this game for me? <laughs> Yes, of course not. I will buy this. That's, that's how I talked when I was a little kid. That's <laughs> that big. Dad, will you please buy this game for me? 
<laughs> Dad, please. 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 <laughs> he grab his hand, please. Yes, son. I will spare no expense for your joy. <laughs> Here is this <laughs> game. Someone, please come unlock this case so we may purchase this game. Uh, you're sure you want that one? Yes? The, the blue one? Yes, Daddy. I want the blue, oh, blue game. <laughs> Your brother's just sitting there watching you get fucking spoiled. Your brother gets fucking nothing. Get my scraps. Uh, no. You get to keep the box, child. Uh, I have a Game Boy Color. Okay. At this point. You're fancy. How progressive? How progressive? <laughs> uh, oh. Get home. It was the nineties. So I unwrap the shrink wrap on the Pokemon Blue box. I'm playing the game. I'm taking it to daycare. I'm playing Pokemon Blue like it's a career. I am so invested in this game. I don't know what initially made drew me to it uh, because that before this point I don't remember having much uh, Pokemon knowledge. Maybe I was watching the anime at this point. Uh huh. Um. But something drew me to that, wanting to purchase it, wanting to play it, wanting to play with all the other kids at daycare, um, battling, trading, whatever. Well, I played this game nonstop for, I mean, weeks. And then I died like a Korean StarCraft player. <laughs> uh, the end. The end. Wow, now, that's a great story. Now I'm a ghost and I need you to solve my murder. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering why you looked like a child. <laughs> it makes that makes a lot more sense now. Uh, so I play this game everywhere I go. My mom on summer vacation, we go up to this lodge. Uh, there's a lot of outdoor activities, but no, fuck you. I want to play my Pokemon Blue version. Me, I have I have no time for these other things. Yeah. I don't have time to go horseback riding. I don't have time to go out wow. exploring in nature. That is not my prerogative me i don't want to go swimming fuck that i can't bring my game boy so <laughs> you say that to I your mom to those my mom. exact words i did i would i, I did. time for horses yeah. it's not my prerogative <laughs> prerogative i can't bring my game boy <laughs> mom <laughs> do you not understand Mother. you uh, dense <laughs> you dense winch this is the same trip i believe that my mom when coming down the stairs inside of the uh, lodge area fell on her butt down several steps of stairs uh, as me and my brother were sitting in like the living room area and like she came down like hitting her butt down all the stairs and landed on the floor <laughs> we were just like we didn't know what to do because we were like obviously she's she was in pain uh, but it was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life <laughs> Uh, and it, she started laughing, even though it hurt. Like everyone started laughing. It's, it's like that's your story. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that like big setup with the Game yeah. Boy just led to your mom <laughs> falling down the stairs, and you're like, "Yep, <laughs> that's the <a> story." <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's been a fun time. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to head home from this vacation. Oh, I think I was trying to play some other game at this point. Maybe it was uh, Link's Awakening. You know, I've, I've been oversaturated with Pokemon. Yeah, um, that was just a phase. Yeah, no, I, man, I need to play something else right now. Just, just to cleanse my palate, get back into Pokemon later, you know. So I'm playing something else. Uh, we're on the ride home. I believe it was like a two or three hour drive um, back to our house. And some point during that drive, I realize I don't have my Pokemon Blue version. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Thank you. I don't have it. <gasps> what happened to it? I'm frantic. What, what could have happened that my Pokemon Blue version is not on my person now? Where are my lovely Poke Pals that <laughs> I'm picturing that child live saying this, yeah. in that in that game cartridge that I no longer <laughs> have? What what is gonna befall them? 
So I know that I must carry this burden alone. I cannot tell my mother. Even though she was not the one who purchased the game, I cannot tell her that I so carelessly lost something so important to me. Why would you not tell her? Because I was a scared child. I f- I feel it's like it's child logic. It's kid logic. Okay. It's not not like oh no, I need you to turn around and go drive two hours to pick something up. That's not the kind of kid I was. I was a like silent, uh, suffering child. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if something happened that inconvenienced me, I just lived with it. Jesus, and <laughs> that carried that over into adulthood. Uh, <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth. You don't dare say it. I would rather I would rather be miserable and silent than inconvenience others and tell them. Okay, uh, so that that just part of part of who I am. <laughs> I am distraught. Um, I didn't tell anyone. I did not say, hey, I lost this game. Can I like, can you buy me another? Can you buy me the other version? Can you buy nothing? No mention. I thought if I bring this up, I'm going to I'm going to get had. They're going to know that I didn't have this game on me anymore. They're going to know I lost it. And I can't have that. So. Silently for weeks, I don't say anything. I continue the ruse of playing my Game Boy. I, I play other games. I make it very clear I'm still playing games. And I'm not putting it down and, you know, whatever. Well, fast forward to an uncharacteristic trip to my grandparents' house. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the juiciest part of the mystery. Oh. I arrive at my grandparents' house. Were you at your grandparents' house? Like when you No. Okay, so this is a different This location. is a very uh this is actually close to where you live, my grandparents. So it's not close to where I was. Um and we didn't I mean, as a kid I would go over there and you know, it just wasn't somewhere we were every not more than like a couple times the year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um well, I saw my grandma a lot, and I remember doing a lot of stuff with her and talking to her a lot. I never really did a lot with my grandpa. Um, not that I didn't like him or anything like that. I think we went fishing one time, and I probably was just like the worst, and he was like, oh, I can't ever bring this child fishing again. Uh, but I, I don't think that I, w- I have ever really told them my five-year-old problems, my six-year-old maybe at this point. And I'm shocked as we're leaving my grandparents' house, as my grandpa comes outside and hands me a new copy of Pokemon Red version. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. But here's the mystery to me that I've never been able to figure out. He's been dead for 12 years. (laughs) Still alive. (laughs) But uh, never once talked to him about these things. They never bought me gifts. Like, this wasn't like my birthday. This was just another nondescript day. That this is the stranger part to me. Is like when the gifting happened. because it was not a special occasion. There was nothing going on. As we're leaving, he just hands me this game. And in the box, like new? New. And I'm like shocked because I'm like, fuck yeah, I get to play Pokemon again. But also like, what? My my just tiny kid brain can't comprehend this uh this person that I've never divulged any details to. Knowing exactly what you want. I mean, 
yes. what you needed. What I needed, yes, I think yeah. is the more correct word. And I think, sure, um, maybe my dad said, like, at one point, like, I bought blue, maybe he wants red. But like I'm saying, this isn't Christmas. This wasn't my birthday. This was a random day that we went over huh. there. Uh, and this isn't something that my parents knew that I had lost it. So uh, I would want another. You know what I mean? So I have never been able to solve this mystery. And I don't know how he knew to give it to me, how he knew when to give it to me, how this all transpired. Yeah. It's very strange. Uh, that is a mighty big coincidence. Oh, you don't believe in coincidences. but There's no such thing. That is that's, <laughs> that's very strange. Well, it's a strange conclusion. Yeah, that's that's it. Unexpected. Unexpected. I'm a little disappointed. By, yeah, it's not the best story. <laughs> it, it was basically, hey, uh, it, I really liked Pokemon. I played it a lot. I went on vacation with my mom, lost yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Didn't say anything, and then my grandpa got me. I look forward to criticizing version. your story heavily. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> that's very, um, well, yeah. Let's uh, let me let me kind of give my Pokemon. I think sure. it's a Pokemon curse. Maybe I lost a copy of my Pokemon game. Oh. Uh, I got. Uh, I had Pokemon Red when I was a child, and I I enjoyed it, but I wasn't. I I wasn't the type to really invest in story games mm-hmm. on the go. Even today, you know, big story games and, and games that require a lot of reading and strategy, that those those are games you play on the TV. On the TV, you don't play that on a tiny little, you know. So I didn't really get far in Pokemon, but I played it enough to appreciate it. Well, then years later, Pokemon, uh, I watched the anime, I played with the toys, I played all the spinoff games pokemon snap stadium everything and pokemon diamond and pearl are announced and i'm like man this looks great so i get back in and pokemon diamond is like the best game in the world i love it so much i play it everywhere all the time uh same with the same as you like all day every day that's my life yeah well one day i just i'm like i want to play pokemon i can't find it i can't find my ds anywhere um whatsoever did you lose your entire ds yes wow so i go i think impressive uh, i don't know when pokemon diamond came out but i got it right when it came out um i played it for several months and then 2004 and then it was 2005 sure and then it was gone and so i maybe i was in fifth grade when that happened i'm like i'm maybe half three-fourths through sixth grade like i think it's been a full year going through my life and i'm I, it's like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast or something. I'm watching a movie in the 2006. living room. Okay. I'm watching a movie mm-hmm. in the... Oh, yep. You, I looked it up. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm watching a movie with my parents. Or I'm, I'm doing some weird thing. And like a vision from God. It's just oh. like <laughs> it is underneath your dad's truck seat in the back. And I'm just like, quick. I need to go. <laughs> and I grab my dad's truck keys and I run out to the back of the truck and i move all this shit over because his truck's always messy and i lift up the bottom of the seat that you're only supposed to do you know when you're deep cleaning or i don't know like it it, it's just really complicated to get Mm -hmm. the back seat where you actually where your butt hits the cushion to lift that up but you lifted it up and there's the ds wow and i turn it on and i was in um i was still like smack dab in the middle of the water gym Mm. and i was like oh and then I just mildly started playing it again, and it didn't really click to me that it had been a year wow. since I played it last, and I just randomly like, oh, I know where it is. Anyways, so well, thank you for your story. It's been a great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for listening. <laughs> so the story I provided, oh, okay, um, is also again, I guess this is our common theme. Is it all it's, Pokemon? <laughs> it's about lost objects. Oh, okay, <laughs> so lost lost i um senior year of high school i wanted to go on a road trip i'd been driving for a little bit and i really enjoyed driving and i was like you know this is the time where we get to go on our road trip yeah as senior trips are a thing and this is the this time. is gonna be our time of our lives it's gonna be the thing that we do mm-hmm. 
So we didn't have the budget to really go anywhere amazing. Or I mean, I don't want to diss where we went, <laughs> but it was a lot. You could easily go there on a budget. Sure. But we drove to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. So uh, me and two of my good friends, uh, I'll hop in my Jeep and we drive all the way there. And we didn't really consider what we were going to do when we got there. My nightmare. But yeah. what, which is a kind of a common theme with a lot of my road trips. Yeah. Well, we get there and I'm just kind of dicking around in Arkansas. Walk, we see a restaurant. We go there. We drive past anything interesting. We'll stop. And we go to a water park. I think Magic Springs. Magic Springs had a water park. That sounds fun. And so Magic. we go in and we rent a locker we put all of our stuff in and we pull out our swim stuff and we start swimming and doing rides and all sorts of uh shenanigans wacky stuff. hijinks having, a, having the time of our wow. lives well halfway through we're all in the wave pool goofing off and i'm like you know what fellas i'm kind of hungry i'm gonna go to the locker i'm gonna grab my uh, wallet and i'm gonna i'm uh, gonna get something to eat yeah and they're like all right sounds like a plan stan I'm like, all right, I'll see you get I'll see you fellas later. So I exit the wave pool, go back to the locker, and I open up the locker. And I'm like, man, where's my wallet? I can't find it. I'm there for like 20 minutes because I'm like, I swear to God, my wallet's in here. How else did I get into the park? You know? Um well, a guy sees me having trouble digging through the locker and he approaches me and he says, Hey, are are you looking for your wallet? And I was like, Why, yes. Yes, I am. And he's like, is it a brown leather wallet with an eagle on it? Which, to my surprise, is an exact description of my wallet. <laughs> so I'm like, why, yes, stranger. That is exactly what my wallet looks like. And he goes, well, somebody left left it on top of all these lockers, and somebody grabbed it to take it to the lost and found. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why, thank you. I'll go check that out. So I'm kind of, I'm startled, but I'm also relieved to know that my wallet. Like, oh, you has, have, you have an intel on where it could be. Yeah. Like you are for sure. That's it. You know where it is. You can go find it now. And I'm also, also for context of the story, this may be relevant later. I'm barefoot. I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm in a sopping wet swimsuit, no towel, just running around a water park trying to find my wallet. So I'm walking up to a bunch of people who work there. And I'm like, yo, where's the lost and found? And they finally take me to this office. And it's kind of near where you get your tickets um, at the entrance of the park. So I go in and I report that my wallet is lost. And they're like, okay, well, there's a pro you have to sign some stuff. And you have to like, there's a process to get to the lost and found bin. Because I guess it makes sense because anybody can just walk yeah. in there and say, hey, I lost something and just grab some shit and leave. Yeah, There's a whole process. And I'm indoors in this like cabin looking thing on carpet, still sopping wet. Mm. I'm kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. Which is odd because you would think that somewhere where guests might need to go yeah. in the midst of their trip might be, I don't know, not carpeted. Yeah. I don't know. It was yeah. weird. It was, I just felt uncomfortable because it was not an environment to be wet in. <laughs> and I'm just, just like, dripping. I am wet. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very. And I just got out of high school, so I'm probably I probably just stick out like a sore thumb. Sure. This you know, nineteen like year old high schooler, you know, yeah. So I deal with all of that, and someone's like, "And you've lost a wallet?" And I was like, "Yes, I had to answer a bunch of questions and stuff." And um, before they let me see the bin, I guess the guy there had never done this before. Or something oh. he had to ask his manager a question, so he's like, "I have to ask my manager. Follow me." So he asks me to follow him down this long hallway to like a conference room where a bunch of people in like regular suits, like business suits <laughs> are having is, a meeting. What is this? It's like a boardroom meeting. or something. Uh -huh. There's like seven people in there around a table, like discussing something. And I'm still in my swimsuit. Just like, yeah, you know, I totally belong here. And the guy asks him suit. about the nice asks him about the lost and found bin. And this guy, I guess it was a, it was the wrong time to interrupt this meeting. Cause he just gets fucking yelled at. This guy's yelling at him, and I'm standing next to him just in a swimsuit. It's very uncomfortable. And after the guy's finished getting chewed out, he kind of silently turns around and takes me to the 
lost and found Ben and he just drops the facade of, oh, you got to fill out this paperwork and yeah. stuff. Like all that didn't matter anymore. He just wanted me out of there. So I'm digging through the wallet or digging through the digging uh, through the stack of wallets. I'm digging through the stack of lost and found stuff. I've already put so many people out. Um, and I, I'm like, I can't find it. It's not here. But someone said that they put it in. And so then another person comes in and I have to go through the process with them and describe the wall to them and stuff. And then finally it occurs to me that I had left my wallet in my car in the parking lot before I went into the park because I was afraid I might lose my wallet. And I was like, why would I bring my wallet in? Yeah when I could just bring the cash to get in and then not worry about losing it anywhere. So I have this realization while I'm, um, you know, in the midst of all these people trying to help me find the wallet. Yeah. And so instead of, you know, admitting I was wrong <laughs> and that I knew where my wallet was, cause I've already gone this far. Did you take a wallet? I pretended to get upset and get mad and it just hurt my heart the entire time but i was like <laughs> this guy has already been yelled at yeah. by someone else i was like i was like you know what whatever like i don't even care anymore like don't obviously this is a lost cause some i don't need my took, wallet <laughs> some asshole took my wallet i'm pissed blah 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 i've lost it i can't believe this this is totally unhelpful you need a protocol or something before people could just take wallets <laughs> and i storm off knowing full well that all of them had done everything in their power to help me. Huh. And I let them all down and my wallet was in my Jeep. And I just returned like maybe 30 minutes later to my friends at the wave pool. And they were like, what happened? And I was forever changed. Is that the end? That's the end. So what fucking phantom of the opera swooped in and told you that your exact wallet went to, like, right. What the fuck was that? I don't like, know. Huh? That's the weird. That's the weirdest part because, yeah, everything else like I, I can kind of get on board with. Like, yeah, I feel like I've been in a not not the exact situation, but I can I can see it happening. But the person describing to you your exact wallet, yeah, yeah, that's like I was a fucking psychic or something. Yeah, what are the odds that two people had a brown leather wallet with an eagle on it? Eh. I don't know. That's just weird to me. But Did you get it at Target. <laughs> uh i think i got it at hollister okay. or american eagle it was american eagle that makes sense yeah i've had three wallets in my entire life i had that one and then afterwards i got a bob ross no i got a chinese takeout wallet made out of recyclable materials it was really cool looking and then i got a bob ross wallet and a jaws wallet so four wallets so your story has changed do you i went from three to four yeah <laughs> I had four i had four wallets over the course of my life mm -hmm. I still have the brown leather wallet. That's, That's my good. first wallet. Your cursed wallet. You never forget your first wallet. <laughs> you, never you, know? forget, you never forget yelling at someone at Lost and Found for <laughs> your own mistake. Knowing full well that you're wrong. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Oh, poor guy. Uh, yeah, I know. I that uh, Sometimes I think about the like what's the worst thing i've ever done in my life and that's <laughs> one of the top ones because like that was not that guy's fault and yeah. i don't know why it was just one of those mass effect things where it was like sure oh you can do the evil well, thing or the good thing and i just went full evil i see i see your logic in like you can't just drop it and go like you know what never mind and leave well because, i can't just be like oh it's in my car well that's right yeah yeah so like Nothing you do at this point, because you're not going to be able to retrieve your own wallet. Nothing you do at this point is going to make sense to anyone yeah. other than yourself. Even if you said, oh, it's in my car, bye. That's like even more bizarre. Like, what the fuck then? What? Yeah. Like, what? What? Like, you put so many people and they're, out. Right. They're not going to believe that someone had told you your wallet was here. And like, uh, yeah, that's just so strange. I, I feel like I understand the the rationale of like i've got to make it a show so that way i can slip out of here with a with an excuse yeah yeah it was it was horrible yeah yeah that poor guy though yeah what's like the worst thing you what what's like one of the worst things you've ever done the worst thing i've ever done oh man i'm great i'm i'm great uh 
I remember one time I had three parking tickets. Oh. And if I got a fourth, I'd get towed. And I I forgot it was like an emergency or something. I had to run up to the school for something. But I was up there for like two hours. So I knew I was going to get a ticket if I parked in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. And I saw that somebody else had already gotten a parking ticket. So I grabbed their ticket. Oh my god, you fucking psycho! And I put it, I put it on my windshield. Jesus! Wow. And then I ran in. Wow! And when I came back, the car was gone. Wow! So I was so like, they don't even oh, know they, they have a ticket. No, they had a ticket. Wow! And that was, that was like 2015. That was just the string of because that yeah. was like the first year of college after my senior trip. So I guess there was like that period of my life where I was just like, you know, it's a dog eat dog world. You got to survive. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was, like, really shitty. That was also another really shitty... I, I don't normally do things like this, I swear. I don't know. But it's kind of weird Seems that the, like a pattern. the two things that I've done were pretty much back-to-back, so... Uh, I can think of the thing that I've done that I would... I don't think it is the worst thing I've ever done in my life, but it's just coming up to my... Like, coming in my brain. I, I had... To, to go back in the time machine, back when I was a child again, precocious, young... Young back champ. in the 30s. Back in the 30s. Uh, this is around the same time I was playing Pokemon Blue version. It was in school. Uh, kindergarten, I believe. It might have been first grade. I don't know. It was around that time. And I didn't like this kid for whatever reason. There was a kid that rubbed me Damn. the wrong way, and I can't I never think like this kid. I, I don't know why. Uh, but I do remember... Going to the top of a jungle gym. Oh, no. And throwing myself off of it. (laughs) Getting uh, not a cast, but like, what do you call it? A splint? Maybe a splint. It's like, you know, the thing goes around your neck and holds your arm. Yeah. Uh, Whatever. So getting one of those, spraining my arm, going to... Being taken to the principal and telling sling. him sling, yeah, that, that's good. Uh being taken to the principal and telling him that another kid pushed me. It was the kid I hated. I told him that. You did did you jump off the jungle gym intentionally to tell them, or it was I just don't, a convenience thing? You just made up I, a lie because you, know, you already hurt your arm. I'd like to think that it's a convenience thing because I don't want to think that I'm like Damien from the Omen, but <laughs> The more that I think back on it, I think I threw myself off knowing I was going to frame this kid. Damn. Like, <laughs> I'm committed. Uh, yeah. I feel less bad about my thing okay, now. Okay, I was a child and you're a criminal. Then you were a fucking sociopath <laughs> as a child. What are you talking about? <laughs> that I remember... person's going around with a ticket they don't even know they have. <laughs> One time I was... Uh... I don't know what the heck I was thinking. You know, when you're a kid, it's just the whole thing is like a fever dream of, Mm -hmm. you know, you're like on drugs all the time or something because what the fuck was I thinking? Why? Well, you have like stupid kid brain. Sure. Like things that normally wouldn't make sense to do to lead to other uh, conclusions or to lead to other, you know, uh, outcomes you do as a child because you're like, you don't realize that that's not going to work or you know what I mean? Yeah. As an adult, you're like, yeah, I wouldn't fucking well, throw like myself no line of reasoning at yeah. all. Okay. I follow, might throw myself. Follow me here. So. Um, so I'm in first grade and I'm peeing at a urinal in the restroom by myself. And then I, yeah. Okay. So I'm still at the urinal and I'm just wrapping up. I'm just finishing. Just wrapping up. Um, and this <laughs> other guy walks in. And this a is child a, or a guy? A, a child. Okay. Another, another first grader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he walk. He walks into the restroom, and, um, I I guess I decide that okay okay, this is in between <laughs> this is in between classes. So okay. I zip up and I turn around and the guy's like doing something at the sink I think yeah. or like I don't know what he's doing, um, but I look over at him and I'm like oh hey dude check this out. And he looks over and I like do a crane kick <laughs> from Karate Kid. Uh-oh. 
not like at him. We're both yeah, like yeah. on the other opposite sides of the restroom. Yeah, but I like, like look do, at, look, hey, look at my skills, man. Yeah, yeah. I do like I a, impress I you. Do like a wah, and I do like a crane kick from Karate Kid. And I'm like, hey, check that out. Like, yeah. Hey, and I'm then, a pretty big deal. And then that's it. And so then I de- <laughs> I decide that oh it's time for me to get out of here. So I go to wash my hands, and this guy just starts beating the shit out of me. What? Yeah. Oh. Um. He likes. You- yeah like too wrong i don't i don't know i don't know what the deal was but he was like running after me and i was like oh my fucking god i'm gonna die oh my god slamming my face against like a fucking mirror like punisher style what the fuck yeah (laughs) i was like screaming bloody murder i'm like oh my god (laughs) things escalated so quickly where did you go to school jenny reed elementary oh god jenny (laughs) reed (laughs) So wow. then um, afterwards, finally, the the ass kicking of the century is, inter- is interrupted by a teacher. <laughs> the mirror my, shattered, the blood, blood's everywhere. Hearing my screams, oh, God. comes into the door and sees this kid just beating the ever loving shit out of me and stops the whole thing. And I'm just like, like, keep going. I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> we wow. find she uh along with some other teachers take us to the hallway and she's asking us like what happened and the guy's like dude she he did this like weird karate thing at first i thought he wanted to fight me <laughs> you signaled <laughs> and, it's fight time yeah, yeah that's you know uh, that's the tradition you that's the ceremony mm-hmm. you you do the crane kick and that starts the fight hey um but the teachers look at me after him after he says that and i'm like ma'am I have no idea what he's talking about. I no, I think that's fair because you didn't do anything to him, and yeah. that information is like he's just grasping at straws yeah. to try and pin something. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but it, it's just there's so many questions here of like kid brain because yeah. it's like, yeah. what the fuck was I? I don't. I didn't know who he was. We weren't friends. You were starting we were a fight. We that's were in different were classes. Doing. I didn't know who this person was. What, what in my you were body? Cashing a check that your ass couldn't <laughs> pay, pay Could process. I, don't know. <laughs> I just don't understand why my brain was like, ah, you know what this person would like yeah. to see. A crane. I've never done that before. Yeah. I haven't done like a, hey, check this out. Do a crane kick. I've never practiced a crane kick. I've never. <laughs> I don't even think I've seen. Karate, spicy. I would think I've seen Karate Kid before that happened. <laughs> I don't know what what prompted me to do that. It was just a weird Sims thing. I was on autopilot, well, I guess. Well, you know how to antagonize <laughs> children. And I don't know why his first instinct after seeing that was to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I oh I have to kick his ass. I I have never I have been in him. a situation where I've been beaten up or had to be anyone. That was the only like, I mean, I I feel like it's yeah. That was the only yeah. time I've ever. I mean, I've been in altercations before, but <laughs> oh, I've I've fought back and was kind of like you I've know, never had to. Um, I've been in maybe three or four fights in my life, hmm. but that one was like this out of the blue oh i'm just gonna sit here and let this guy beat me like i guess i was so caught off guard on like oh this person wants to fight me now and i don't know why i'm fighting so, like i didn't have your face in a mirror i didn't swing back nothing i was oh, just man. like a pure innocent child of i didn't know what violence was i guess i just mm-hmm. didn't I, all i knew was scream and run and i guess i was really bad at running well, I hope when we get our Disney Plus show that we'll be able to reenact this scene. Uh, Disney Plus. What does that have anything to do with this? When we get our show. Oh, we're going to get a show? Yeah, we're getting a show on Disney Plus, guys. Oh, everyone gets a show on Disney everyone Plus. Everyone gets one. <laughs> it's like the new frontier. It's the Oklahoma <laughs> Land Rush. We're all going. I'm going to I'm just I, I'm excited to like, you know, have you crane kick and then smash your face into a mirror. Yeah, no, it was um, yeah. it was scarring. Yeah yeah it was weird and then i remember just crying with like a bloody face not like cut it was just bruised yeah yeah, yeah. i was like sobbing in class reading a book about sea urchins (laughs) i I think it's wild that they just like made you like sit in class yeah i was like reading about sea urchins in my reading time 
while the while I was waiting on the teacher to call my parents and tell uh, them what happened. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> turning the page, <laughs> reading about my sea urchins in this 12 page book that I checked out from the library. That's really good. I just want to read about sea urchins and this guy beat me up. <laughs> wow. Picture of innocence. No. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways. Well, this concludes our desktop story hour. That's our story hour. It wasn't even an hour. It was 40 minutes. Maybe. We'll see once it's cut down. 40 minutes is like two episodes of SpongeBob with commercials. Yeah. And these are the commercials. Time to buy some barbecue sauce. I need, I need to buy salsa. That's my... I uh, had an omelet this morning. Um, Dana ordered an omelet, and I didn't have salsa to go with it. And then it occurred to me, like I've never purchased salsa since I've moved out. I've never had to, and this is the first time that I'm, I need to get salsa. <laughs> All right. Well, Brian's checked out, so I'm gonna just gonna. <clears throat> Stop recording. Thanks for listening to Desktop Storytime.